Good afternoon. I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive. Uh, and here in White Plains at the county office building, we're joined by the mayor of the city of Mount Vernon, Sean Patterson Howard, by uh, Tejan Nelson, who is our uh, uh, commissioner of the Board of Elections here in Westchester County, by Tyree Woodson Samuels, who's county legislator representing Mount Vernon, and by Deputy County Executive Ken Jenkins. We're here on a mission of respect and recognition. Um, very recently, we lost one of uh, the most uh, prominent individuals in the Westchester community, Reginald Lafayette. And Reggie, as we all knew him and loved him, uh, served for many years in many important public offices. And uh, we want to show our respect for his legacy as part of what we're here to do today. To give you a little bit of an idea of who Reggie Lafayette was, he was recently honored posthumously at our recent African American Advisory Board's Trailblazer event. And we want to share that video with you now. You'll see the marking of Trailblazer on it because it relates to that particular event. But it gives you a good idea of who Reggie Lafayette is. We lost uh, a member of our Westchester family very suddenly. Reginald Lafayette, resident of Mount Vernon. He was the commissioner uh, of the Board of Elections, one of the two commissioners. There's a Democratic commissioner and a Republican commissioner. And Reggie served in that position for over a decade and a half. He had been a former uh, city clerk in Mount Vernon, former deputy controller in the city of Mount Vernon, very active in the political life, head of the Democratic Party for over a decade and a half, and uh, critical in so many different areas of both government and in politics. He just wasn't influential in the political arenas, but even in the community, working with young people, championing women's issues, um, and doing so much civic work around the county, and we're grateful to that. So to Jahi and to Deidre, we know that you're going to miss your dad, but we are grateful for the light and the energy he brought to our lives. We will continue to allow his legacy to shine forward in our service. God bless you. We celebrate today the chairman. I met... Reggie, when I was thinking of running uh, for state assembly all those years ago, and we went to Molino's, you know, one of his favorite restaurants, if not his most favorite. And I even remember where I sat, and I remember how he gave me advice. You know, in those days, I represented a small piece of Mount Vernon, but I was really seeking his advice on a much larger level because Reggie was larger than life, and, and he had all that information to give. Reggie was so involved with his community of Mount Vernon, with Westchester County, with New York State, on so many committees. He also made sure that as candidates running for office, that we had the tools that we needed to be able to run a good campaign, and he was there to promote us every way. He always stood up for what he believed in, and for the countless ways in which he was of service. His legacy will remain with us as long as we remember him, share our stories, our funny encounters, our disagreements even, and his work will remain in our collective experiences. We've lost a great one here in Mount Vernon. We know that, um, but he's left a legacy. He's a trailblazer, a leader, an innovator, and someone who truly believed in the power of, collect of the collective. And most importantly, he believed in lifting as he climbed. You see, when Reggie Lafayette started out, there weren't many people in city and county government that looked like him. But now you can see throughout the city of Mount Vernon, throughout the county of Westchester, diversity is great. And we owe a debt of gratitude in, Dem in the Democratic Party and quite frankly, anybody in the Westchester County to Reggie Lafayette for leading boldly, fairly, and unabashedly. You know, I remember years back, uh, an instance he wisely counseled me on on how to approach a rather delicate situation in my community. And I remember after he gave me his advice, he gave a little chuckle. And it went very well. Everyone was content. You know, that was his way. Dignified and gracious. He was deeply respected throughout the county and beyond. His death leaves a significant void and he will be greatly missed. I miss him. My friend Reginald Lafayette was a trailblazer in so many ways, in his own career and in fighting for equity, inclusion, and diversity in Democratic candidates. There's not a Democratic official in Westchester County whose career was not positively impacted by the work of Chairman Lafayette. He was absolutely determined 
that people of color and women were going to make it to the bench as Democrats. And if it were not for his leadership, our judgeship would look so different today. He pushed and he pushed in a relentless way, but he did it not only because he wanted the judges to be more diverse, because he wanted the litigants, the people who appear in city court, in family court, to see people who look like them, who empathize with them, and who knew their stories. And on that, he was so right and so ahead of his time. Like everyone, I was shocked and saddened when I learned of Reggie's passing. To his family, friends, and colleagues, and all who knew him, this is a deep personal loss. Reggie was a close friend of mine and a treasured public servant. He was a historic, iconic, and unapologetically proud leader in our county and in our state, an inspiration to those that knew him. Reggie embodied Westchester County politics, a trailblazer in so many ways. Reggie was hardworking, dedicated, passionate, and served us well in the many roles he played. We all owe Reggie a tremendous debt of gratitude for his work on behalf of so many. Reggie's presence is incredibly missed, and he will always be remembered. To recognize the life and the contribution of Reginald Lafayette, we are submitting today to the Board of Legislators legislation that would rename the county office building that's located in the city of Mount Vernon, the Reginald A. Lafayette County Office Building. That building is located on the corner of First Avenue and First Street, on the south side of Mount Vernon. Uh, for many years, uh, we called it colloquially the Con Ed Building because it was the headquarters for Con Edison for many years. Westchester County obtained that building and now has a variety of offices of county government in that facility. And uh, we think that that is a fitting tribute to Reggie uh, in the city that he lived in and that he loved, uh, not very far from where he worked both professionally and where he worked in his political involvements. Reggie Lafayette had an extensive career, first in the city of Mount Vernon. He served as a deputy city controller for a number of years and then took responsibilities on as Mount Vernon city clerk. And he served in that position for 14 years. Beginning in 1999, <clears throat> he was uh, selected to be the uh, commissioner of the Board of Elections, the Democratic commissioner. There's a Democrat and a Republican uh, side by side. And he has held that position since 1999 until his passage earlier this year. He also held positions in the political world where he was executive chair of the New York State Democratic Committee and he was a member of the Democratic National Committee. He was a delegate for the Democratic National Convention in uh, 2008 and 2012. He was a district leader, which is the grassroots foot soldier of uh, uh, local politics since 1972. And he was an active member of the Black Democrats, a uh, Prince Hall Mason since 1983, a member of the Progressive Lodge Number 64 for 35 years. Reggie Lafayette and I met in that role as a district leader when I was 20 years old and he was 21 years old. We were two young men in the city of Mount Vernon attending an event and uh, I, many times as we've talked over the years, most recently and just in a few months before his passage, we really couldn't imagine that uh, 48, 47 years could pass by and he and I would be in these two respective positions. But we, each of us, and each of us will share remembrance in a second, have had a way to know Reggie in a very personal way. Knowing him as long as I did, knowing him in a social context, uh, it's been spoken about. We had a Facebook post that reminded that back in the late 70s, uh, he and I were manager and first coach on a minor league, little league baseball team in the city of Mount Vernon. <clears throat> that picture on Facebook shows the way we looked uh, back in 1978. Not a particularly good look for me, but at that time, we were young men and aside from our social lives and our interaction in government and politics, that we also uh, had fun with kids and recreation and, and were part of a community. And it's, it's very difficult to reach a point in your life where you're honoring somebody that you knew as a living human being in, in a formal way. And uh, this legislation, as it's submitted to the Board of Legislators, they will, they will uh, have the chance to discuss it and vote on it. In a few seconds, Legislator uh, Woodson Samuels will address uh, not only his thoughts about this, but the board process. And uh, then in the proper time when we have determined uh, how his name is placed and how he will be remembered at that building, we will have a ribbon cutting unveiling in the city of Mount Vernon at the site uh, uh, to honor Reggie Lafayette. We, uh, we name things after people uh, as a way to show respect and as a way to try, if it's possible, 
to remember them beyond their time in the arena. Uh, tomorrow, for those of us who are Christian, begins the season of Lent. And in the season of Lent, uh, one of the things we're reminded in my particular faith tradition uh, with ashes is that we all begin as dust and we end as dust. But what you do in those years in between matter greatly. That, that is what your uh, accomplishments on this planet are. And uh, Reggie's accomplishments uh, are clear. They benefited the city of Mount Vernon. They benefited the county of Westchester. And uh, we want to make sure we honor those for years to come. And in those years in the future, when somebody passes by that building and they see the name and they'll wonder who he is, uh, they'll know a little bit about who this man uh, is and what he did during his life. So I'd like to next ask our Deputy County Executive Ken Jenkins uh, to join me here at the podium and share some of his thoughts at this moment, and then I'll introduce each of the different individuals who will speak. Deputy County Executive Ken Jenkins. Thanks, George. This is such a, a wonderful um, tribute to, um, to Reginald A. Lafayette um, for his 40-plus years of public service, especially all of the work that he did in, in the city of Mount Vernon. Um, as a, a remembrance and recognition of a great individual and the things that they have accomplished, as County Executive pointed out, in the time that they had in the arena and making sure that people would recognize. So for, for Reginald A. Lafayette, the building that overlooks um, the great city of Mount Vernon down in the downtown area, looking across at City Hall on one side, looking at Democratic headquarters on the other, um, is a fitting tribute. Um, this particular naming, should it get through the process at the Board of Legislators, will be the first building named after an African-American person in Westchester County. And again, because of Reggie's influence throughout Westchester County, throughout the state in New York, certainly being a member of the Democratic National Committee as well, this tribute is very fitting for Reginald A. Lafayette. And it will give a chance for people to go by the Lafayette building, and they, they won't think of it anymore just like we don't think of bridges in the same names that we used to have them. They won't think of it as the old kind of building. They'll think of it as the Reginald A. Lafayette County Office Building. Thank you. Next, I'd like to ask uh, County Legislator uh, Tyree Woodson Samuels to join us. Um, the County Legislator was elected in a special election and then, and then elected to a full term uh, just this past November. Uh, he is the youngest member to serve in the Board of Legislators, and he has a tremendous impact uh, that he has served already, and, and no doubt a tremendous future ahead of him. So, uh, Mr. County Legislator. Thank you, Mr. County Executive. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, Legislator Woodson Samuels from the great city of Mount Vernon. Uh, I'm humbled to stand here with my colleagues in government, uh, County Executive Latimer, our new incoming commissioner, Tejon Nelson, Mayor Sean Patterson Howard, and our Deputy County Executive, uh, Ken Jenkins. Um, what better way to honor a giant like Reginald Lafayette than to have his name donned on one of the premier buildings not only in the city of Mount Vernon, but in the county of Westchester. Uh, as a young legislator, uh, Reggie was always extremely helpful to me. Uh, one thing I always appreciated was his open door policy, right? I knew I was new and I was humble enough to ask a question and he was the one to go to, uh, to answer those questions. And to be here today uh, to bestow this honor and to honor his legacy, all of his work um, is truly, truly humbling. And I can truly say, um, you know, uh, I stand on his shoulders. We all do. And so my colleagues on the Board of Legislators, we will execute this legislation to make this a reality. So again, Reggie, we love you, we miss you, and thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Next, I want to invite up uh, the mayor of the city of Mount Vernon. Uh, Mayor Patterson Howard uh, has uh, been serving now for uh, roughly uh, two plus years uh, in her position, and it is a very difficult executive position. Mount Vernon is a community with great uh, potential and also great issues that have to be dealt with, and uh, 
Uh, it's not an easy time for any of us, but she has shown leadership and energy uh, in this city of uh, approximately 65,000 people. Sean will give you the exact number in a second. Um, and uh, we have tried to be good partners here in Westchester County to Mount Vernon and to every municipality in the county. Uh, but in this particular case, we're very happy that she's here with us to share her thoughts in this moment of this office building that is one of the anchors in downtown Mount Vernon. Madam Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, County Executive Latimer, as well as to our Deputy County Executive um, Ken Jenkins, our County Legislator Tyree Woodson Samuels, and our uh, Commissioner of the Board of Elections, Tejan. Uh, we're just really, really excited to be here today. Um, as it's been stated, Reginald Lafayette is a trailblazer. He has been a leader. He has been a change maker and a transformer. And so it is such a befitting honor that, uh, as Deputy County Executive Jenkins said, that the first building in the county to be named after an African-American um, would go to Reggie, the Reginald A. Lafayette County Office Building. We said, what, Ral Cobb, we'll, we'll make that a thing, right? <laughs> we'll make that a thing. But we've, we've talked about his political and, and some of his leadership experience in government as well in the world of politics. But when I think of the new Reginald A. Lafayette County Office Building and what lives inside of that building, the Department of Social Services, housing agencies, um, equal and human rights organizations. Reggie was also a man of the people. The chairman was a man of the people and he could speak to world leaders and country leaders and he could speak you know, to the guy hanging out at the AAC or someone who you encountered on a baseball field. And we have so many people who are just regular people and prayerfully they will understand now the importance and the significance of that building that while you go in there to get services, it's also named after a person who understood the plight of the common man and that they can feel a renewed sense of dignity even as they seek services and they make sure to and, and we ensure that they're getting some of the services they need to help them accelerate and go up to the next level. So great office building, great renaming, and uh, Chairman Lafayette will forever appreciate you, your service, your dedication, your commitment to the community. God bless. Thanks very much, Madam Mayor. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce Tejan Nelson, who is the uh, Board of Elections Democratic Commissioner. Uh, she, more than any other single person, has been the right arm of Reggie Lafayette over his public career these last years of the Board of Elections and also his work uh, governmentally, politically within the city of Mount Vernon. Uh, Tejan uh, knows the good days and the bad days that happen when you're with people. And uh, as we all know from our friendships and relationships, even close friends have those moments that happen. Uh, but she's had an insight into how this man has led through uh, difficult times, uh, both governmentally and otherwise. And uh, we're, we're happy that she has this opportunity to serve in her own right, but we're very appreciative that she was, for so many years, uh, such a great help to all of us uh, as Reggie's uh, right arm. And so I wanted to make sure that she has her opportunity to share her thoughts this day. Tejan Nelson. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you so much, County Executive, Deputy County Executive, uh, Mayor Sean Addison Howard from Mount Vernon, and my county legislator, Tyree. Um, what can I say? I think a lot of you stole a lot of what I was going to say. So um, Reginald A. Lafayette wasn't just um, a mentor to me, a friend. He was like family. He served not only the county of Westchester, but the citizens of Mount Vernon as well um, in both of his roles as um, county cl um, city clerk and also as Board of Elections Commissioner. Um, he was a man of the people, as Mayor Sean said, um, although you could see him in a suit sitting in one of the um, hottest spots in Westchester County, uh, Molino's or some other place nearby, um, he could still also be having a fish fry down at um, one of our prestigious friends, Diane Atkins' house as well in the summer. Um, and he also knew how to talk to you and give you straight talk. Uh, for many of you who don't know, he was from Charleston. Uh, which means that he was a man who always honored his truth, his convictions, and always lived a life of integrity. Um, I am beyond honored to be following in his footsteps. Um, this honor for his life and legacy to rename 
This county office building after him is such a great honor and achievement that his two children, Deirdre and Jahi, will forever hold dear in their hearts and appreciate uh, this honor, as well as his sister, Andy Matthews, down in Charleston. And on a personal note, I just really want to say that um, we are honoring the man the life, and I think um, he was a legend in his own right. And as you've heard me say before, I think he was one of the greatest of all time in his field and in his service to the people. And I will happily step in his stead to continue to serve the citizens of Westchester County and the voters and continue public service in his honor. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Thanks. We all um, have to deal in our lives with loss. And uh, when we start out early in our life, generally the first generation of people that we lose are grandparents. We're, we're young and they're old and in the natural order of things, we know that the older will depart and the younger will uh, go forward. In due time, when you reach a certain enough age, you reach the point at which you lose your parents, which are very difficult, searing losses because they were the ones that raised you and nurtured you. As we get older still, we may lose people that are contemporaries of ours. We could lose a spouse, someone that we love deeply, who completes us. And when we lose a contemporary, we, we face not only the loss of a lifelong friend or a lifelong companion, depending on what that relationship is, but we also see our own mortality and their loss. And it's a very difficult thing to accept for as many years as we live on this planet, that uh, we are mortal. And we all hope that we do something that matters enough that when we are gone, that people will think of us, will remember us. Very few of us create uh, an impact great enough to have uh, people remember us any significant length of time. You know, only those who've had the greatest impact on the society at large have that gift of, um, uh, of long-term appreciation. The greatest sacrifice, I think, that occurs in all of this is that knowing Reggie as well as I did over the years, and I know Tejan and Ken and Sean and Tyree have had these conversations with him too, he would talk about how he planned to spend his retirement years. He had some very specific plans, and they were not that far away. And uh, we would talk, he and I would talk whenever we had a, a leisurely moment. Uh, he had an idea of where he wanted to be in South Carolina, what uh, the porch of a house would look like, and how he could look at uh, the warm weather in that part of the country and how wonderful it would look to see the rising of the setting sun and that he would relax and enjoy the fruit of years of labor, years of difficulty. He would talk to me too, as much as any white man can understand the, the path of a black man, particularly from the South, but truthfully anywhere, as to what it was to grow up in a, in a section of the country where the color of his skin mattered more than the content of his character at the time of his birth, and that he would have lived a long life and had a successful life and know that the content of his character shone through and became the basis upon which he was judged by his contemporaries. And I, I feel a tremendous sense of sadness because he is not going to have that, that retirement that he so richly deserved and earned over an extended period of time. I perhaps feel sorry for myself that I'm not sitting with him on that porch in South Carolina at some point in time whenever uh, it comes my time to sit with him and uh, relax. But we owe a debt of gratitude to the people that have come before us. This building is named after Edwin McCallion. He was a man I met once as a very young man when he was county executive. And he was an outstanding county executive. It didn't matter to me that he's in the other political party than the one I'm in. Uh, he was a man of accomplishment. And that accomplishment is, is now recognized for all time on this building. And in due time, we intend to recognize other prominent people in Westchester County who've made a great contribution. And it doesn't matter which political party they're in, what particular position they held, because they made a great contribution. We'll see us do that in the days to come. But for, days, for today's purpose, this is a way that all of us want to, uh, to give to Reggie Lafayette the recognition he deserves. And uh, for those of us who do believe that there's something greater than just the world that we're living in right now. We, we believe that he knows that his friends have remembered him. And in fact, as long as we live, we'll not forget him. With that, by the authority that's been given to me by the people of Westchester County, I'm going to sign this letter of conveyance, which uh, conveys to the Westchester County Board of Legislators legislation 
that would name the building that is owned by Westchester County Government at 100 East 1st Street to be named as the Reginald A. Lafayette County Office Building. I give this to Legislator um, Woodson Samuels for his uh, submission and uh, to Tejan Nelson, who've known him so well, the pen that made that conveyance. Thank you. And uh, with that, uh, we thank you for being a part of this. I want to thank again Mayor Patterson Howard. She took time away from her responsibilities in the city of Mount Vernon to be with us here, and we're greatly appreciative of that time away. To Ken Jenkins, uh, my partner in all of this, uh, we worked together on so many things, and on this project, we worked together again, and again to Legislator Woodson Samuels and to Commissioner Nelson for being with us here today. Uh, I'm Westchester County Executive George Latimer. Um, I wish you a good day, a healthy day. We will uh, communicate with you on other issues of importance as we go forward. Uh, we wish all of you a very happy March. We hope that the weather will cooperate. Uh, we'll be back for other celebrations, some happy celebrations uh, before this month is over, but also to always balance out that in our life there is both good and bad and we have to embrace whatever it is that comes our way. Have a wonderful day.